Oh boy, I know right away the first move people are going to make is how are you defending Chris Shelton? You put out Shelton videos making fun of him. That's correct. But I did this thing called the research. So I have no issue with being critical of Chris Shelton. I have no issue with fact checking him. I don't have an issue even with questioning his credentials. That is fine because Chris did. He got caught kind of uh, exaggerating how qualified he was to give advice. And that's fine. He got caught. He should have apologized. I don't think he did. But now he says very clearly and explicitly he does not give counseling advice as a therapist. Now, this is a long intro because for whatever reason, Liz Gale is deciding to have a jihad. And I'm not even exaggerating. She put up this very weird community post where she's alerting her followers and friends. Guys, I need you to be spies. I need you to start doing some spying for me. I need you to give that spy information to me, Liz Gale. And we're doing this because she doesn't even say the closest I could divine from her odd McCarthy rant is apparently Chris Shelton has been very mean to some ex people. Well, let's see. Let's add it up. Liz Gale is on Aaron's SPTV Foundation, which is not even a foundation. It does not have an EIAN. It does not have a legitimate 501 status. It is basically just a not for profit corporation, which I think people might be confused with. Isn't that a charity? No, not-for-profit corporation is not legally the same as an actual nonprofit. So she's on the board of a corporation run by her friend, Aaron Smith Levin, with another friend, Serge Gill, which is not his name either. That's His name is Sergio. So I don't know why he lies about that. But anyway, so we've got these fake people in this weird friendship society, and for whatever reason, they don't like Chris Shelton. That is fine, I guess. Friends will not get along, and Shelton has made very clear. Shelton has made very clear he's no longer friends with Aaron Smith Levin. Okay, that's fine. So friends cannot be friends, and we move on. What we're not going to do is have this weird McCarthy fight, and we're going to be tracking down his credentials, because I also find it implicitly pretty racist towards British people, and just this very weird attitude Americans have towards, I guess, foreign institutions that because I guess Shelton didn't get his degree in the U.S., it's somehow suspect. Well, again, as someone who actually knows a little about this, yes, there are various systems of accreditation of how people get qualified for various positions. And by the way, this is insane hypocrisy because one of the people they work with, Rabbit, she's supposed to be a licensed professional social worker. She's not acting like that at all. And her excuse is, well, I'm not really practicing that now. Okay, so I guess the code of ethics she used to have, it didn't mean anything. So this is just pure hypocrisy. And it just keeps piling up because in the background, they have this massive sex scandal with Louis Rapetto, who is one of their friends. And at this moment, we have over 20 women filing police reports. It's insane. Is Liz Gale going to do a video on that? No. The enemy is Shelton. Shelton said mean things about me and my friends Nora and Aaron's and Serge. We need to track him down. He needs to come before the council. He's committed the act of heresy. What is this, Planet of the Apes? What are we doing here? And it's even more crazy because the last time she was on YouTube, she got caught red-handed threatening someone. Yeah, she was outright threatening someone with physical violence. I don't know if you've figured this out yet, Leah, but... um. Your image and likeness is being used for something that a lot of the community doesn't want. <laughs> so I don't know how to say this respectfully, but like, get your shit in line, Leah. This isn't good. And I want, I want you to be, I want you, I don't want anything bad to happen. <laughs> Liz Gale does her threat. There's a blowback and some people are like, ah, I don't think that was a good idea. I don't think that was wise at all. And she's like, I'm sorry, guys. This is no pressure. Oh, my God. I just I just take a lot of drugs. And it's just a lot of pressure with my son going to college. I just And Aaron's giving me all the money. It's just a lot of pressure. What pressure? Just a couple of months ago, you were on this boat just smiling and waving your hand and just having a good old time drinking beer. Please stop lying. I mean, really, what is the pressure? It was such a pressure. I, I took the plane trip. And I said, and I met my errands and we had fun drinking beer. It was, it, oh my God. It was so much pressure. It was so much activisms. 
What was the activism? The activism was taking photos with the Clearwater police. The Clearwater police that are literally guilty against YouTube, I have to say alleged, of murder, deception, covering up crimes for the church. And they're like, hey, you know what a good idea is? I'm, I, this is Arontology. You come down here, we'll have a barbecue, we'll have beer, we'll, we'll hang out with the cops who, are, you know, they're helping miscavige cover up crimes. I, I mean, this is just nutball insanity. But it's like, okay, fine. You know, I'm a reasonable person. They want to do that. They think that's activism. Fine, whatever. I don't think that's good activism. But when they do good activism, I'm willing to praise it. That, that was not a good idea. But whatever. It's their money. But no, 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 no. Shelton needs to answer questions. Well, is the SPTV Foundation, what, a part of the government? No. Do they have the power to inspect or uh, spy on people? No. Why are we doing this at all? Again, it is fine. You want to be critical of Chris Shelton. I'm critical of Chris Shelton. Chris Shelton has done many things to be critical of, but you do it in a reasonable, intelligent manner. What you don't do is do a weirdo barbecue beer fest then threaten someone and then get off the internet saying, guys, I'm going to be better. I just need to take a little rest. And then she comes back saying, guys, I'm back. This girl is back. I'm here to fight Scientology. And one of your first videos is we're attacking Chris Shelton. Okay, so it's like, wait, wait, wait. wait. How, how, how is attacking Chris Shelton stopping David Miscavige? Could you just explain that? And nowhere in the post does she explain the links here. So we're fighting Scientology by wasting time to spy on Chris Shelton. We're doing this because, because the vendetta against the Aftermath Foundation and Claire Headley and Mike Rinder has to continue. Listen, let me be very blunt. If tomorrow Liz Gale finds photos of Claire and Chris Shelton totally naked with Mike Rinder taping it, I don't care. I don't care. That is not the issue. The issue is if the Aftermath Foundation is spending the money legally and legitimately, right? So if Claire is giving money to Shelton to conduct academic research, that is not an issue. He is a legit expert. I've seen his videos. Not all of them are good, but he does enough to be considered an actual valid expert. You don't have to agree with everything, but he does provide pretty good information. Sometimes it's bad information, but overall it's pretty solid. If you don't like his expertise, that's fine. You have your own foundation. You can conduct your own research. That is the way it should work. We don't get rid of bad research by, quote, silencing people. You put out better research. You put out your own research. You don't start doing these spy missions. The issue is if the Aftermath Foundation is spending the money legally, legitimately. Now, them having all these couples on the board, I don't think that's a good idea. It's definitely very corrupt. However, what is the issue? Shelton is too close to Claire Headley. He's too friendly to her. He's not friends with Aaron's anymore. Right. That's life. And by the way, Aaron, Liz, and Nora, and Serge, they've said many nasty things to Chris Shelton. Does he have no right to self-defense? Is it automatic pilot? Like, everything you say that's very nasty and ugly to him? That's just the truth? What about his side of the story? Oh, no, we need to silence him. Why are we silencing him? Because he's so mean. He's so mean to the exes. Chris Shelton is an ex-Scientologist himself. And this is what I really don't like, and she should at least be honest and truthful. He got beat. He was literally physically assaulted in the church. So he suffered way worse than Aaron. Like, you know what Aaron did in the church? He was threatening people. He was getting violent. He was literally about to attack an old black woman. And he was stopped. Men had to put him down. That's what he was doing in the church. He was acting like a complete mad dog. So Aaron is the good guy. He's my president. He's my leader. He's my friends. But Chris Shelton is the villain. It seems like all of you people are very questionable. All of you people are very questionable. So you don't have the high moral ground here, Liz Gale. You don't. I mean, what's her big contribution? And by the way, listen, I was an early fan. I like her stuff. It was very basic. But, you know, it is what it is. What does she do, basically? She's just a pretty girl. She keeps talking about, like, guys, I just smoke a lot of marijuana. And I fight Scientologies. I fight Scientologies taking a whole lot of marijuana. That's nice. I don't think that's really contributing anything, but that's her thing. Okay, fine, whatever. She's just a pretty girl. She waves her hand and, you know, she takes copious amounts of drugs. And that's her way of protesting Scientology. And by the way, yes, I do know her story. She had a huge family tragedy. 
And it was her brother's tragedy, not her tragedy. It's sad that she lost her brother. What is the tide of Scientology? I don't think that's even been established. So this is just very normal for a lot of these people now. They really rewrite the record where they are the center of the tragedy. Not necessarily. They could be very peripheral to the tragedy, but they try to grift from that tragedy and become immune from criticism. And by the way, Chris Shelton has sometimes done the same thing. He's been guilty of like, guys, I suffered so much in the church. Yes, you did. We can still criticize you. But now Liz Gale is like, we need to all criticize and be very critical of Chris Shelton's. Okay, that's totally fine. Are we going to be critical about you? Are we going to double check your education? We're going to look up your courses? We're going to call up your teachers? No, Liz Gale's going to pass. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm Liz Gale. I'm super special. What are you doing? Stop calling my, stop calling my schools. What are you doing? Contacting my family. Well, you just said we got to be critical of Chris Shelton. So it's just the same old thing. We're not being positive. We're not fighting Scientology. We're engaged with these weird behind the scenes personal vendettas. If you have an issue with Chris Shelton, we have a legal process. You can sue him. But you're trying to get us involved. And clearly you don't have grounds to have a lawsuit. So it's like, you're going to pretend to be like, God, I need your help. I need these spy missions. We got to stop Chris Shelton. Why? Why do we need to stop Chris Shelton? Why? Nothing is given. It's just a lot of mumbo jumbo nonsense again. But hey, I will be patient. Maybe she actually does have some information that's devastating to Chris Shelton's uh, credibility. Maybe. There are definitely many things to criticize him about, and I don't trust Shelton all the way either, but I do so for good reasons based on solid research, whereas this is just, uh, it's the Aaron Smith Levin people getting angry that they're being criticized. And like it or not, Shelton does have credibility. He does have a credential, and he is an expert. You can disagree with that expertise. You can disagree with that expertise, but do so honestly and openly. This uh, OSA spy mission stuff is getting really weak. It's really getting old. And I'll be nice, this sounds a lot like what Marissa Sigmund is doing on her channel, but I don't know if they're collaborating, but it's just not healthy. It's just not good. It's just a lot of McCarthy nonsense, which we should be getting beyond, but instead we're getting right back in it because these exes just cannot communicate with one another in a healthy, normal fashion.